Hi YouTube, Luminous Star here. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Star. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, welcome. And to my current subscribers, give you a big juicy red one today. Mwah. Thank you so much for your subscription. At the end of this video, please hit the like or subscription button and also leave me your comments, leave some questions. Okay guys, let's get right into it. I'm going to be talking about today three signs that absolutely confirm that you're done with the narcissist. You're done. You've had it. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys three signs to reflect that and also going to be ending that video with or this video with three effective tools that will help you to remain focused on your own life versus the narcissist's life. Okay, here we go. Sign number one. When you no longer have a desire to pursue the narcissist for any reason whatsoever, whether that be for an explanation of why they treated you like they did or why they are the way they are, you no longer desire the explanation. You no longer desire to reconcile with them. You no longer desire to hear their side of the story. You no longer desire their acceptance, their validation. You're no longer seeking them out to help you gain closure. The last one is very important. Guys, it took me some time to get to that point, but it's very well worth it and it's very effective when you apply that to your life, okay? When you get to that point, when you're no longer pursuing, even for, I mean, because we all want closure, but when you're not pursuing the narcissist for closure, guys, that's big. That's a breakthrough because you realize that you never needed the narcissist at all to gain closure. You never needed them. You never needed him or her. You never needed that person. We just desired the acceptance. We wanted the narcissist to really see us. We really wanted their love, respect, acceptance, so on and so on. So we thought, well, we can at least get closure. Now that the relationship has fallen apart or is over, okay. For whatever reason, that relationship has resumed. It's over. So you want closure. That's understandable. But you don't need the narcissist to get the closure. That's what we desire. Okay, so once you get to that part, when you get to that point and get to the part of your life and your healing where you're like, you know what? I don't need the narcissist to get closure. I never did. I never needed them for that. I just desired. That was part of my still holding on to them. Whether it's a family member, whether it's a coworker, whether it's a uh, best friend, uh, or someone that you thought was a best friend, but they're a narcissist so that, you know, the relationship was really toxic, so they really weren't your real friend in the first place. But anyway, uh, yeah, you just get to that point where you no longer desire anything from the narcissist not even the closure. You don't even seek them out to help you gain closure. You can get that all on your own by building a support base for yourself. Okay, so build a support base for yourself, which leads me on to tool number one. Okay, tool number one is remember, your life has purpose. So if there's no other reason for you not to pursue that narcissist, let it be for that reason alone. It's because your life has purpose. You deserve some sanity, peace of mind. You deserve a great life, don't you? You're breathing, right? You're on the planet. So if for no other reason, let that be the reason that you don't pursue the narcissist. It's because your life has purpose. So build a support base for yourself to gain closure, all right? Sign number two. Sign number two is you know, well, it just pretty much says, well, I'm done, I've had it, I'm out of here, right? Or if the narcissist has walked out and they, they're playing those games again, right? We all know the games that they play. They walk away and they give the silent treatment. And sometimes that goes on for weeks, if not months. However, the relationship is over now. You no longer have that toxicity in your life. So sign number two, Sign number two is that you're done with the narcissist and that reflects that you're done with them. Sign number two is you no longer 
are interested in reinvesting. But see, let me make sure I come up with the right words or the words that you really can resonate with. You're no longer desiring or pursuing the narcissist to reinvest. I think that's a great word. You're not going to sue, uh, you know, pursue them <laughs> to reinvest, right, in a toxic relationship. Because those are the only types of relationships that narcissists have. They're toxic. So you're not pursuing them to have another toxic relationship. What sense does that make, right? You really don't desire that anymore. So sign number two that you're done with the narcissist is that you're no longer interested in reinvesting in a toxic relationship with the narcissist. You're not interested. You're not there. You're, you're out of here. It's like, hey, I'm packing my stuff. I'm out. Or I'm walking away. I, you know, I'm out of here. I've had it. So tool number two to, to sign number two is remember that you're not responsible for the narcissist's well-being. You're not responsible. So you're not interested in reinvesting in the toxic relationship. You're not responsible for rescuing the narcissist or saving them. You're not, you're, I mean, you're not responsible, right? So even more reason to make sure that you don't pursue them to reinvest because you think that they need you somehow because you have to rescue them. You have to save them from, themse from themselves. No, you don't. And guys, it took me some time to, to get to that point. Everything that I'm sharing with you today, I've experienced. I've experienced. So the tools are those tools that I have applied to my life that absolutely I found to be effective to help me stay focused on my own life versus the narcissist. So again, sign, or actually tool number two, remember, you're not responsible. You're not responsible for the narcissist's well-being. You don't have to rescue them, okay? So sign number three, that you're done, you're, you're, I mean, you're done <laughs> with the narcissist, is that you no longer make yourself emotionally available to them, sometimes even physically, right? You're not available to them anymore, not emotionally. So whenever they try to suck you in, right? It's always a, some type of drama or chaos with the narcissist, right? So they want to suck you in and they want to drag you in and they want to just, they want you to listen to how badly they think their lives suck. They may be on the brink of losing a lot of money they may be on the brink of losing yet another job or they, they, it looks like they may not be getting that promotion. Whatever the crisis is, right, they're dragging you in because they want to project. That's the key word. Narcissists, they like to project their stuff on other people. So when they start luring you in or, you know, dragging you in or, or pulling you in so they can dump their stuff on you so they can project all of this stuff that they really don't want to deal with because they don't want to be responsible and they try to put that on you. No, you're going to be like a gray rock. You're no longer emotionally invested. So you're not going to become all emotional and get wrapped up in their story or the chaos of the month or for that week, <laughs> okay? So you're no longer emotionally invested. You're no longer emotionally available, sometimes even physically available to the narcissist. So sometimes you may have to really be like that gray rock. So when they start talking about all of their stuff, you're kind of like, wow, so what is your plan to handle that? They might be floored by your response. And you're not going to react, by the way. Narcissists know the difference between reaction and response because there is a, a difference. Response is when you critically think and then you express yourself. When you react, you're not critically thinking. Most of the time, we're not thinking. We get our emotions all in it. You know, we just emotionally we're all over the place. And that is what the narcissist absolutely wants. So instead of reacting, start responding. <laughs>
more often if you have to deal with the narcissist for whatever reason. So physically, it might be a little bit difficult, but emotionally, it is vital that you start detaching emotionally. You're going to be like that gray rock. You're not going to become emotionally invested, which leads me to tool number three, the final tool. That is, remember, it is vital to discontinue making an emotionally invested or to become invested emotionally with the narcissist. So you want to discontinue. So tool number three is discontinue. Discontinue becoming emotionally invested with the narcissist. Just discontinue. Now I get that certain situations, it may make it a little bit more difficult because some of us are married to them. Some of us have children. You know, some of these are family members. I get it. I get it. I've experienced some of that, by the way. So I, I know, I know how difficult it is, but it's not impossible. It is not impossible. In this video, I'm not going to get deep into that, but I just wanted to share those three signs and those three tools with you. And guys, until next time, take care of yourself. And again, I hope that this video inspires and motivates you to at least reevaluate your relationship with the narcissist. Because again, it really is a toxic relationship. So some of us who are currently in those relationships, again, my heart out to you. And I really hope that you, this video has inspired you or motivated you to at least reevaluate your relationship with the narcissist. For those of us who have decided we're going to, you know, the relationship is kaput, is over, and we've started to move on, may this video inspire you and motivate you to continue to move on, continue to focus on your own life. What are your standards? What are your values? What are your priorities? Make sure that you're the center of your life instead of the narcissist being the center of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay tuned for more. Bye now.